So if you go to pythontutor.com, so this is, a, in general, this is a tool that's freely available for you to visualize the execution of Python programs. Um, so the motivation behind this tool is that, um, that you know, visualizing and drawing diagrams of programs is really useful for helping students understand um, what, uh, what your computer program is doing because the internal execution state is often invisible. So here I'm stepping through a program. You can step backwards or forwards, and it's, um, it has these stack frames here. It has... Uh, it has objects, it has pointers, um, and so forth. So you can actually edit the code as well. So when you edit the code, it brings you to a code editor where you can write code, um, whatever code you like in Python. You hit the Visualize button, and then it brings you to this screen, and then you can just step forward and backwards. So uh, the interface is uh, fairly straightforward, and what this allows you to do is uh, kind of replicate the sorts of drawings you would normally draw in a CS1, in an intro class. So that the design model here was whatever people could do in a Blackboard, we want people in an intro class, we want people to be able to draw on the computer automatically. So there's several main use cases. So one use case is for instructors creating content. So if an instructor wants to create a textbook or lecture notes, they can just embed these drawings in it because it's on the web. Or they want to do a live coding, like we talked about live coding earlier. They can actually live code on here, and normally when you live code, you can only see the final output. But now when they live code, they can hit visualize, and they can see all the um, internal state. And the last use case is for students for self-understanding. So um, if you want to understand what's going on with your code, you can paste it in, or you can try out variant and hit visualize and and see what happens. And this is a really powerful use case, a learner-centered use case, because um, oftentimes the learners don't know what the right drawing is because they don't actually have a, a correct mental model. So seeing that really clarifies things. So to get back to your question of what did you just learn, I have this comment box up here that I've just been collecting data for. I haven't actually done a real analysis of it. I've just been, the data's been trickling in. Um, some of the ones I've seen are, um, are uh, kind of just function call stack frames, uh, pointer aliasing, Recursion. I think those are the three big ones. Um, just this idea that when you call a function, you have these stack frames and they have local variables inside, and you're passing the parameters around, and um, and these objects are actually alias. So, for example, I can actually turn on my pen. Let's see what happens here. Um, for example, you know this. Whoa, what just happened? So these two are actually uh, alias to the same thing. Can you see that red ink? So these two are actually alias the same thing here. So I, I'm not seeing the ink, but I, no, I okay. briefly saw the arrows light up when you had your mouse over them. Yeah, so I think I think it's fine. So I'm going to stop the screen share. Let's see. Um, yeah, so that's that's the general overview of um, of the tool, and the main learning is just about from what I've seen informally, just on the online service, and also talking to students and instructors who use it is just uh, yeah, basically just learning the basics about the memory model and, and execution flow, um, which is which is a big topic, obviously. 